Hello once again, YouTube fans. This is Bluebell once more, and with me this time are Cobalt, Iris, and Adam. Ugh, at last, I get to be in another episode. All right, and yes, we are back with another episode of Us Watching Angry Birds Summer Madness. So is everyone ready? We are indeed. Yep, yes, we are indeed. All right, this is the last episode of season one. This one is called Foul Weather. Oh, <laughs> Foul Weather, I get it, because birds are foul, and then there's foul weather. <laughs> Yeah, I get it. Just play the episode. Excuse us, please. Make a hold, Chief. We're coming through. Girl on a mission here. Oh, what's up, Stella? Apart from you. Whoa! She looks so fixated on something. Oh! I love how you tickle my tum tum, Mr. Unicorn. Oh, apparently, red legs unicorns. Or at least that unicorn float. Uh, how did that get wrapped around me? It's not mine. Hey, Red, Stella? don't ever be ashamed to show what you love. Oh. I'm not missing Slung Fu again. Slung Fu? Nothing's gonna stop me. Attention campers. Camp Splinterwood is under a category four mayo nado warning. Return to your cabins immediately. What? Sorry, kids. No Slung Fu. No doors closed. Oh, what horrible is it timing. Just me, or is there always some dumb emergency at 2 p.m. on Fridays? There's nothing dumb about mayonnaise wreaking havoc at 200 miles per hour. Okay, now, that, that sounds habit, ridiculous. Everyone. I've never heard of rain mayonnaise, except in Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Oh, I didn't really say it happened in the movie or the it's book. Not just the mayonnaise, there's something every Friday. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Dojo's closed. Bubble Blizzard. A what blizzard? Sorry, no doors closed. A uh, bee brush fire? Bee brush right. fire? Swarms of bees that cause brush fires. That doesn't uh, make any sense. Let me guess. A tsunami? Earthworm quake? A volcano eruption? Someone pooped on the mat. What the? Ow, Chuck! I mean, you total moron! Sometimes I wonder where his brain is when it's not attached to his head. Something fishy going on. Now I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. He was too good for this world. Ooh, I got this on his unicorn hat. It's not a hat. Oh, it's not mine. Red. Huh? Hey, the sky is clear. Wait a minute. What the? Someone planet Harold. <laughs> I'll never talk. You don't have to. It was all in its idea. She says she needed her me time. I just exactly at 2 p.m. That's why we haven't been able to do our activities. Oh. You don't understand. This is something you don't want to mess with. You know, Harold, you're right. I'm going to go back to my cabin and pretend this never happened. Uh -huh. Oh, that sure is well you. Thanks. <laughs> that was easy. That's Guys, what you think. There's no mayonado. It's all Harold and Lynette. Oh, for the love of Peach. Let him talk. There's no mayonado, dum dum. Mayonado. It's all a hoax to get us to stay in our cabins. Oh, now that you mention it, that makes way more sense than a freaky condiment weather event. Stella's gonna be so mad. Ooh. Who's gonna tell her? Lynette did what? Thanks for telling uh, our penalty. And of course it got penalty to tell. Now Stella, what did Sensei say about focusing your aggression? I have no idea because I've never met him because I never got to do Slung Fu. Ooh. Don't worry. Old Red, he's got a plan. Okay, good. Because I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a little annoyed. Uh, you look more than a little annoyed. What? Caught red-handed. How on earth did you survive the mayo? Forget it. You caught me. Ha <laughs> This is why you had us cooped up in our cabins? So you can watch TV? I just wanted a little me time. But that's so wrong. 
Yes, it's well, like it's wrong if you have a responsibility to uphold. Tell everyone there was no tropical fruit storm, no flash photography flood, no tea stampede. You think anyone's going to believe you? Mm -hmm. Me? No, probably not. But. Oh! Now everyone knows. This is why we she admits it. Because of Lynette's lies. <gasps> yeah. Honesty is always no the best policy. Lying never gets you anywhere. Cabin, except in trouble. <laughs> and no one listens to her. <gasps> Oops. Guess she was telling the truth about that. Hey, why didn't anyone tell us the court's closed for cleaning? Well, that just, just did. Okay. Yeah, right, Red. Like anyone believes anything that comes out of her beak. Oh, great. They don't believe anything she says anymore. Where's Chuck and Bomb? They're usually first in line for breakfast. <sighs> They're still sleeping. Time, it's nine o'clock. Breakfast time. <sighs> you expect me to fall for that one, Lynette? Oh boy. Yeah, and where's Brenda? Breakfast is supposed to start already. <gasps> Brenda? <gasps> Who said breakfast starts at nine? Well, that's a, oh boy. Lynette lies. Maybe breakfast doesn't start at nine. Uh. Maybe you never did. Maybe I'm not even a lunch What? Maybe my whole life was a lie made up by my nuts. No, no, okay, Brenda, chill like out. Do whatever you want. Nothing matters anymore. It's every bird for themselves. Wow, what a downer. Oh, now it's, now that camp's in complete oh, chaos. You know what? Now's our chance. Let's hit the dojo so I can finally slum through it up. Well, hurry! Before things get worse. What the? Well, things are getting worse. Uh, really? Attention. The amount of campers bouncing in the dojo is above capacity. <gasps> Uh-oh. If you don't stop him, uh, do what you want. I'm out. <gasps> oh, no! The dojo's gone. I can't help but feel as though I'm somehow partially responsible for this. Uh. I just want to do some food! Oh. Ruined camp for Stella and everyone! We need well, it's not your fault, Red. Lynette is the uh, real problem. If she didn't lie in the first second. place, this never would have happened! We were dining the hall, and all we could get was lemon slushy from the freezer! The whole camp is falling apart because no one believes anything Lynette says! What are you gonna do? Why can't they just get a new counselor? Uh, I'd like to see you try. Whoa, 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 hold on, that was just an expression. I have to apologize. Oh, apology accepted! Not to you, dum dum! to do something! It's chaos out there! Oh, really? I hadn't noticed. Look, I'm sorry. Don't pretend you don't stay, care. Oh, well, then again, she really doesn't the care. Were. Actually, I'm rather enjoying the fact that my reign of tyranny is over. It's been 100% me time, and it's glorious. Yeah, I'll clean every slingshot in camp. Mm, clean and wax. Okay, fine. Mm, no. Uh. I'll give you weekly quarter cures. This conversation is over. No, it isn't. I just said it was. See? I don't believe you. Because you're nothing no but a compulsive liar. Again, unless we convince them that you're not a liar. No. Which you are. <laughs> Cobalt. Great. I know, it's just... Every week. Great. Attention, campers. A lemon hailstorm is approaching. Report your cabins immediately. Sure, a oh lemon boy. hailstorm. Red's forced Poor to go along with that. Oh. This is probably Harold and his fake weather machine. But Harold and his fake weather machine are right there. Is that? Hello. The eye of the storm is upon us. <gasps> Whoa! Looks like Stella's getting to do slung Fu after all. Yeah. Okay. Looks more like cheese. Lies. Well, that's not the liar. Red is. 
Oh, oh now he says his name right. <laughs> She's right, everybody. You should listen to Lynette because I cannot be trusted. And he's so short. <laughs> What's up with those eyebrows? Uh, uh, so much. I hate it when everyone makes fun of Red because of his eyebrows. I always hated that when I was a child. Except everyone thinks I'm a liar. But I don't. You got to do slung fu. You did the right thing, Red. Well, well at least for a reason. Jelly fog. Don't go out there, Stella. You'll be lost in the fog and wander the camp forever. Uh, we discussed this. Lynette's lying again so she can have her me time. Then why can't I see anything? Explain that, Mr. Because you got a unicorn floating oh, on your head. <laughs> Dummy. Eh. Uh, well, what did you think of that one? Eh. Uh, not as climactic as I hoped a season finale would be, but... Uh, I guess it's okay. Yeah, I agree. Uh, but, I'm really put off by the ending. They have to go back to line just to get everyone to, to listen to Lynette again. Yes, I know. Lying is never a good thing. And this goes for all of you viewers out there. Lying does nothing but get you into trouble. Big trouble. After that, no one trusts you or, or or relies on you or anything. So always, it's always best to tell the truth. Exactly. That's what I taught Indigo when he was still alive. I mean, when I was still alive. That's what I taught Indigo when I was still alive. Yeah. It looks like he took it to heart. Every time he does something he didn't mean to, he always tells the truth. He doesn't run away like some... Some of those other kids do. Well, that's good to hear, Iris. <laughs> well, we hope you all enjoyed this, ladies and gentlemen. This has been Bluebell, Iris, Cobalt, and Adam. Say goodbye for now, YouTube fans. Remember, honesty is always the best policy.